Hey, come on, children, and gather round. I've got a lot to tell. Because the clouds are rumbling. Don't think the world is tumbling. Just stop that worry and lose that frown. You'll soon be feeling well. A little home philosophy is bound to chase that spell. So change all of your gray skies. Turn them into gay skies and keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon. Now what good is your pining? Find your silver lining and keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon. You'll make the clouds hurry away singing a little love song. Some, some lucky day somebody may come on. Long. So chase all of your sorrow, look out for tomorrow, and keep sweeping the cobwebs off the moon. Now when baby dolls con you and start into John you, just keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon. Hug them, kiss them, receive them, feed them, love them, and leave them, and keep sweeping the cobwebs off of the moon. They'll make your dough vanish away Just like a flash in a storm Cause it's Mr. E. Pluribus Unum <laughs> That keeps those babies warm And don't multiply losses And don't follow the horses Or you'll keep sweeping the cobwebs off the moon Oh, did you ever hear a story about the Scotchman that wouldn't go to school because they had to pay attention? I don't know, I shouldn't talk about Scotchman, no. No, but I did see a Scotchman go in a garage where they got free air. <laughs> they blew out four tires. No, but ladies and gentlemen, not to change the subject, I got the dumbest girl you ever saw in your life. Look, and she don't know nothing. In fact, I don't even think she suspects anything. Now, she's one of those kind of girls, when they take to the movies, she wants to look at the pictures. Last night, I took her to the movies, and right in the most interesting part, she said, honey, somebody's fooling with my knees. I said, that's me, and I ain't fooling. No, of course, any girl is liable to be dumb, but <laughs> she abuses the privilege. And you ought to see, her, bro her brother is dumber than she is. Oh, he ought to be twins. He's too dumb for one man. No, her brother is a bachelor. You know, a bachelor is a fellow that has no children to speak of. Well, last night, last night he took his girl out for an automobile ride and he made her walk back. And the funny thing, after she started to walk back, he couldn't get the car started. He had to walk back with her. Over this morning, he was coming out the street and he was holding his neck like that. I said, what's the matter with you? He said, i got to go to the dentist and have a tooth pulled out. I said, what's I got to do with your neck? It's my girl's tooth. No, but I took my girl to the same dentist, but he wouldn't give her no gas. <laughs> he said she's so dumb looking he couldn't tell when she's unconscious. Oh, but she was going to have a birthday party. I didn't know where to get her for a birthday present. I was going to get her a handkerchief. But she's got a handkerchief. Last year I got her a wristwatch, but she wouldn't wear it. She said it hurt her nose. Over this morning, I was coming down here, and I saw the funniest thing. I was coming down the street, and there was a big black cat come running out of an alley, and it run between my legs, jumped over a fence, up on the windowsill, back over the fence, and run down another alley. And I looked at this thing, and it went down about a half block funny, come running down another alley, jumped over another fence, up on the windowsill, back over the fence, and run down another alley. And it went down about a half block funny, did the same thing. And I met a friend of mine, I said, you see that crazy cat? He's what kind of looking cat was it? I said, big old black cat had white legs. He said, oh, that's my cat. I said, man, is he going crazy? He said, no, I'll take him to the hospital this afternoon. He's around canceling engagements. Better sing, huh? <laughs> no, this song in time, if bricklayers can lay bricks, why can't plumbers lay plums? <laughs> Thank you. 
said, Lovey Joe, a boy I know who has good taste for gals, was speaking of his lady love and raving to his pals. He says her name's Magnolia and she'll ruin any man. Now, of course, I can't describe her, but I'll do the very best I can. Now, I'll take some honey from the bee, mix it up with TNT, and what do you got? Magnolia. Now, Clara Bow, ain't she delish? Well, season her with Lillian Gish. And what do you got? <laughs> Magnolia. Say, listen, pal, describing this gal is trying. Cause when I'm done, it's 20 to 1, you'll say I'm lying. But take Cleopatra and Camille, add just about that much more sex appeal. Mix the lot, and what do you got? Magnolia. Then take some fragrance from the rose, dress it all up in flapper clothes, and what do you got? Huh? Magnolia. Now pick your teeth, just as white as pearls, and add some gorgeous golden curls, and what do you got? <laughs> Nobody but Magnolia. The boys all sigh when she passes by Cause she thrills them Now her silk clothes are cheap I suppose But how she fills them Takes Sheba's smile, Salome's lips Pickford's eyes, Sophie Tucker's hips Mix the lot and what do you got? Magnolia